Okay, I might be a little late to this video. Maybe just a little. Having my own Pokemon Gym and Sun and Moon is such a tempting idea, but knowing me it would be so unrealistic and far from what Game Freak would normally do, and that is what pushed me away from doing this video. But you know what? If it is my gym, then it is my rules, my game. So get ready because I will show no mercy. <laughs> uh, sorry, I got a little carry away there. Let's just see what kind of gym I would have. So the first thing I thought about is which gym leader type would I be? While I love many different types of Pokemon and Mudkip is my mascot, I finally decided the psychic type would really suit my theme. I mean think about it, my channel is based around having to do lots of research and trying to come up with smart answers to unanswered mysteries in the Pokemon universe. So what better representation than the Pokemon with the highest IQs in the games? Alright, so we have our type, but how far in the game should I be? Hmm, I want no limitations, I shall be the 8th gym leader. Because I know that both kids and betters play these games, I have come up with a way to try and incorporate both, so that this gym could be as memorable as possible. As I mentioned before, this gym would be for the smart trainers. I will bring back Blaine's Q&A system in order to progress in my gym. My layout will be simple, there will be three rooms, each with a strong trainer that you can avoid fighting by submitting the right answer to one of three trivia questions. Every time you answer right, the main door opens and you move on to the next room, until you get to the fourth room where I shall be waiting. If you answer the question incorrectly, you'll be forced to battle the trainer. Simple enough, right? So you make it to the end and the battle starts and I say, ha, what a waste of my time. Deceiving others? That is what the world calls a romance. Now you get to meet my team. I will have three Pokemon. First comes the level 40 Bronze Song with the moves Earthquake, Toxic, Protect and Rest. With of course the ability Levitate. The purpose of this Pokemon is to start bringing your morality down, as it will focus on stalling and crippling your team. If you manage to get through my Bronze Song, you'll be facing my level 42 Starmie, with the moves Cosmic Power, Confuse Ray, Recover and Surf. And it will have the Natural Cure ability. Now my Ace will be a level 44 Mega Gallade with the moves Night Slash, Sand Headbutt, Leaf Blade and Brick Break. Get past my team and you'll be rewarded with a Side Badge and of course TM29. Alright, I know some of you are like, okay, that is pretty generic, how does that incorporate the veterans? Well, if you're a true fan, you will talk to this guy and he will say, looks can be deceiving. The truth lies in all the answers. Now that might be a little confusing, but remember how I said that you only had to answer one out of three questions? Well, if you don't just rush in after you answer your first question right, you can still talk to the trainer in that room where he will give you the option to answer the other two questions, which will force you to battle him. Do this for all three trainers and you will trigger a secret cutscene. Once you get to the final room, you will hear a weird laugh as you see the true gym leader descending from the ceiling, covering this aura as you realize that the gym leader that was standing in that room was nothing but a puppet being mind controlled by me. I will simply say, let the true fight begin. Using my psychic powers, you will be forced to use only three Pokemon, so choose them wisely. Once you have done that, meet my first team member. I will start off with a level 42 Malamar with an Assault Vest and the Contrary ability. Most trainers will want to set up their Pokemon with moves such as Source Dance or Calm Wind. This is why this Pokemon will have Topsy Turvy, Swagger, Psycho Cut and Super Power. Get past him and meet my level 44 Slowking with Leftovers and the ability Own Tempo with the moves Trick Room, Psycho Shock, Nasty Plot and Scald. And finally, my true ace, Mega Metagross. He's one of my top favorites, and for good reasons. I love the fact that he's one of the smartest Pokemon out there, and he's ready to wreck your team with the moves Meteor Mash, Sand Headbutt, Ice Punch, and Hammer Arm. <laughs> I knew I was gonna get carried away with this. There you have it guys, that would be my Pokemon Gym in Sun and Moon. Like I said in the beginning, this is probably too out there, but hey, nevertheless, I think it would be fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoy this video and until next time Pokemon fans.